Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, honey, I'm gonna be. Ooh. I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for November 2021, darling. If you find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading today, Virgo, be sure to let me know in the comments below how they resonate, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is uh, through reading y'all's comments, as well if you do enjoy this tarot reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, Virgo. I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I always appreciate it when you guys do that extra stuff to support me, Virgo. Remember, it does not matter what you identify as, Virgo, whether it's he, she, they, them, anything inside or outside of that spectrum darling if this tarot reading is going to resonate with you this week it's going to resonate with you darling one way or another my readings are always all inclusive if you do uh, I do want to ask you to keep in mind as well, Virgo, I am just a man reading some tarot cards to you, rather. Um, so you know your situation better. Take the cards that resonate. Leave what doesn't, because it's not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought, perspective to consider today, but never making choices in your life, Virgo. So keep that in mind. So let's just jump into your weekly tarot reading now, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you guys. But first and foremost, Virgo, you already know the vibes. We got to be checking, do a little bit of an energetic check-in for y'all to see just where the general direction of energies are going to are going to be going but you know i gotta catch up with my free uh what i'm saying here um i noticed this three of cups is actually flipped over in my deck and i'm not sure how it managed to because um i have a pretty heavy ocd when it comes to my tarot cards so i'm taking this as a sign uh virgo that uh this reading is meant for i mean rather this card is meant for you virgo so in this three of cups if you can't read the bottom it talks about compassion and happiness virgo uh the three of cups is a card of just celebratory time as well um being around good people uh virgo so i would really wouldn't be surprised if this week uh virgo you find yourself uh being introduced to some new people um i wouldn't be surprised if yeah some of you guys start having some new connections coming into your life as friends especially um some close friendships um or if there's going to be a cause for celebration virgo you might you might be receiving some very positive news in some regard about um just your life in general right maybe you're going to be receiving like if you've been waiting to hear back on something maybe you shot your shot with something or try to get into a job and you've been waiting to hear an answer on something i feel like if you have been waiting to hear an answer in some regard virgo um it is going to be coming pretty soon to you and the answer is going to be in a way of where it causes a celebration for you virgo so very happy for you let me know what that's about uh, we have the Ten of Water, Ten of Cups coming in for you, Virgo. So very fabulous. We're getting a lot of Cups cards for you guys. Um, and they're very good ones too, uh, Virgo. So this card says, darling, uh, contented and rewarding family life. Uh, your emotional and material needs are met in trustworthy relationships. So... Uh, let, uh, your relationships are being heavily emphasized in y'all's reading this week, uh, Virgo. Um, you know, no matter which way you twist and turn this, whether this is root opportunities or what have you, because this card, as it says, Virgo, your emotional and material needs are being met. So it's like all your bases are covered. Every single cup that you have is going to be filled, even if it doesn't feel like it right now, Virgo. You know, as time progresses, things you're gonna, you're just going to find things. I feel for you, Virgo, to just naturally just fill themselves up. Sorry about that, Virgo. I had a phone call to answer. So as I was saying beforehand, when it comes to this uh, ten of water, ten of cups, this is just a very positive card to be having. This is a very uh, a card of where you know, even if you haven't been, ha if you've been going through a little bit of a rough patch and just like a lot of things, just not really. Um, just I keep hearing the word underwhelming, Virgo. Maybe you just been really underwhelmed with how things have just been panning out in your life or just in one specific avenue um i feel as if there's this is a nice positive shift to where it is y'all are going so i like this a lot for y'all continuing on we have the five of air five of swords yeah this is what i was suspecting virgo uh this talks about an unwise choice darling learn what you can from the situation and reviewing everyone's motives hmm. this is interesting i want to pull which deck we want to use for that? Oh, well, we'll continue on with this. And then the five of pentacles coming in here. Okay, now I get it now. Five of earth, five of pentacles, Virgo. This card says fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, and uncertain self-employment coming in for you. Well, not coming in for you. I feel like this is kind of like these two fives right here, darling, uh, Virgo. This is where your current situation is about right now, where it's just like, you know, <laughs> you know, you're kind of just like looking at like some of your social situations and you're just like, what is going on with you? You know, maybe you've just been socially just dealing with a lot of aggravation 
emotions, I kind of feel like it is. Aggravations, underwhelmingness, uh, five of pentacles, that fear surrounding your money, um, and just overall stability, not sure, and you're kind of being unsure, like, how are you going to make ends meet and all that, Virgo? And I just feel like this is, is coming in as that nice message with that three of cups and this ten of water, or ten of cups as well. It's just this nice message of where exactly what i was sensing where it's just like you know it may not feel and it definitely probably doesn't for many of you guys virgo at this current point in time where it's just like everything like you're just under a lot of stress right now virgo and so things are definitely turning out uh in a much more positive way for you guys pretty soon so just keep on fighting virgo just keep on pushing through in whatever, whatever way that you need to be able to um push yourself in and i promise you that you know with this ten of cups that three of cups as well Virgo, that things are really going to be panning out very nicely for you guys, Virgo. Now, I do want to be saying that um, I can't help but feel as if I'm being shown. <laughs> it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be gross, but I don't care. Um, I'm being shown a pimple and someone needing to like pop a pimple. And I'm not telling you to actually pop your pimples, um, but I kind of see this pimple as like a. Um, for many of you guys, Virgo, um, this pimple is like uh, an actual person um, that you guys need to just like pop and like get rid of. Um, I don't know why. Now I'm being shown Michael Myers. Don't y'all be crazy now when it comes to getting rid of this person, honey. But I digress. Um, it's almost as if there is like this one focal point that is being that has been causing a lot of stress in y'all's life, maybe associated with both the Five of Pentacles and that Five of Swords. You know, it feels as if there's just something that needs to be expelled from your life, something that needs to be expelled from your life. And you know, until you expel that, you might be, cons you know, that pimple is just going to continue getting redder and redder and just grow more and more until you expel that pimple. All right. So it's something I just wanted to say that I was getting those very uh, creative imagery on, I suppose. <clears throat> We have here the King of Cups stepping forward to you as well. So it's very interesting here, Virgo, because it's like you have like these current situations, these current stresses in y'all's in y'all's life, Virgo, where you're just like, um, how would we say this? It's almost as if it's almost as if Virgo, um, that's what the pimple that I'm referring to. It's almost as if like you have like this, you have like this one problem area right here, right? You have like a pimple right here, honey, but the rest of your face is clear everything else is clear and so it's like you know you have this one problem area that's going to be resolved once you choose to expel it and then everything else is just easy sailing clear as can be um so it's very interesting that you're getting these messages here you have the nine of pentacles um coming in as well for you virgo and then let's do this other card now we have the seven of wands as well very interesting virgo y'all's reading is just very it's weird because it's like um, um it's it feels almost as if i'm tapping into two different energies here where it's just like but i know it's like the same person like i know it's you virgo it's like there's just like this one side of y'all that's just a lot of stress a lot of inconvenience and then this other side that turns into like just a lot of positivity virgo so i'm not you know i'm almost taking this as a way where it's just like this i'm tapping into like and like tapping right into the middle of this where you guys are in the midst of this transformation or rather this transition um <laughs> transformation probably sounds really dramatic huh um yeah it feels as if i'm tapping into y'all in the middle of this transition on getting rid of this problem source or rectifying this problem source that's in y'all's lives currently and then um, after that, you know, I, I feel like this is almost coming in as just a really positive, strong, affirming message to you guys, um, Virgo, where it's just like, yeah, you guys are in this transition right now. This transition may admittedly be going on longer than what you would have hoped for. You know, it feels as if you might be feeling this sense of a little bit of limbo here. But again, you guys are in the going into the right direction on things. You guys are definitely... Um, on the proper path for where it is you need to be going um i do feel this very strongly to say for those that are dealing with some type of social stress in their life that um just to keep your head up you know again like you, there's almost this sense virgo that i feel the need to tell some of you guys to just be a little bit more um <laughs> I suppose like ruthless or more cutthroat in some regard uh in your life virgo when it comes to just like you know maybe some of you guys are trying to be a people pleaser in some way and so because of that maybe you guys are kind of suppressing your own opinion or views on things just because like you don't want this person in your life anymore or like you 
don't like how someone's behavior is, but because you're trying to just be a people pleaser or just not really cause too much disruption because you got a lot of other things going on in y'all's life to be stressing about, um, it's almost as if like you're refraining from really speaking your truth um, entirely. And so I feel the need to just tell you guys, Virgo, is just, you know, you know, the cut off the loose ends, cut off the loose ends. You know, when, you know, when people go to like their hairstylist or barber or whatever, um, and you're cutting off those split ends, you know, that's, you know, people will say like after you cut off the split ends, your hair just grows out to be so much healthier. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what's been this habit recently, Virgo, where it's like I've been sneezing randomly in a bunch of the Zodiac readings. I usually don't sneeze. I guess just the allergies, honey. Um, but yeah, it just feels like I, I feel the need to just tell you guys to cut off some split ends in y'all's lives. Because once you cut off these split ends, you're going to just like, I don't want to say like everything else is just going to fall into place after the fact, but it's just almost as if, um, you know, once you cut off those split ends, like things are just going to feel like it's going to be like a domino effect for you guys, whether it's connected or not things just really working out so just do your single part virgo and well couple parts you need to one make it a point to just keep on pushing through virgo don't be giving up darling even though you're going through that struggle right now with a lot of things in your life um just keep pushing through darling um but two cut off the split ends cut off the split ends because after you cut off those split ends you know this universe spirit and whatever you believe in and align with virgo is going to be handling the rest all right so let's close off these the this energy here, Virgo. Let's give these cards to Miss Aretha or Barbara Walters there, darling. And then give these cards to Miss Aretha Franklin, honey. And now, Virgo, let's get into your spirit guide and ancestral messages for today. Let's see what's going on there. Okay. We have here the parrot spirit coming in for you, uh, Virgo, number nine in numerology. So go ahead and look up the number nine to see how that message relates to you this week. Um, but the parrot spirit says, watch your words this week. <laughs> Very interesting to have this. Watch your words this week, Virgo. It's almost as if, you know, this is going to be a very specific message, Virgo, but it's almost as if, like, you have been watching your words with some type of dynamic, and it's almost as if I want to challenge some of y'all, Virgo, to be like, well, why? You know, if you have to suppress your voice, if you have to suppress the things that you are feeling, which uh, I was saying this from before, then I feel as if it's just not of your service anymore. I feel as if you want to really be cutting off the things um, that just really may, uh, caught, forces you to have to, like, constantly be thinking about what it is that you're saying and all that. Um, so... And even your guys are saying that emperor card coming in here with the two of pentacles coming in as well virgo and then we have the what is this card we have the tennis girl <laughs> the tennis sword stepping forward and this card wanted to come out as well what is this the death card coming in as well virgo so yeah it's almost this sense <laughs> it very much so is this sense virgo where you are just like in this place of being like well do i cut this off or don't i right you're not sure if you want to call off a cycle or you don't shouldn't you the, the, the tennis swords virgo is a card you know tens represents closures in y'all's lives and it's like these ten swords they didn't happen overnight being st you know i know it's animal like this is a gorgeous card but it doesn't really represent the actual the artwork of it doesn't really give too much of a message but you know the ten of swords you know it's usually portrayed as like an individual having ten swords in their back and you know those ten swords don't come overnight it's been it's usually a progressive thing and so with this emperor card the emperor is very unapologetic the emperor can be seen as ruthless sometimes just because they have to lay down the law they have to sometimes come off as the bad guy in a certain situation and so with this two of pentacles i see you trying to figure out what you do in this situation here and, you know obviously free will and all that darling so you guys need to make the decisions for yourself but i do definitely see closure being in y'all's future very soon i do see for many of you guys you're being told from your spirit guides and ancestors to really just cut things off cut off the things that are forcing you to have to be quite literally watching your words with you know so it's just like the sense of where Virgo really just do um, make it a strong point, Virgo, to, you know, don't take this as a sign of being like you are like internalizing things, things like, oh, am I the bad guy? Am I the problem? Am I the drama, darling? You're not the drama. You know, you need to. This is just a time for we, where you need to just cut things off. All right. So now, darling Virgo, let's get into your social reading. We have here the Ace of Air, Ace of Swords stepping forward to y'all. 
with the page of water, page of cups, right? Yeah, page of water, page of cups stepping forward. Hmm. And then the Knight of Air, Knight of Swords coming in as well. So I do definitely see a new connection coming forward to you guys, uh, Virgo. And I do feel as if um, this energy only is going to be coming in once you cut off those um, split ends, darling, those dead ends. I do feel very strongly that it could be, a, it's like an air sign coming in very strongly, both with the Ace of Air and the Knight of Air, or they just have a lot of air in their chart. You know, the page of water talks about either the current deepening of a current connection or a new energy coming in here. So it can be either or with this. Mm. Knight of Wands. I almost want to say it's 50-50. For half of you, Virgos, there's a connection in y'all's life that you haven't been really able to get close to. Because, and I would definitely say because of some other person that's kind of just like a sore for y'all. And then the other half is where it's like a new person coming in very quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if they are very much so in your face type of energy here, where it's just like once they make an appearance, like they start appearing up everywhere in y'all's lives. Even if they're not physically there, like everything they, um, everything uh, you do starts reminding you of them or like going on social media, media, uh, media, like you see them. It's like you're going like some presence is coming into y'all's lives and it's just going to be like very like in your face like you can't really escape it and so i really feel positively for you guys right now virgo because i feel like this connection is going to inspire a lot um in you guys it's going to inspire for you guys to go out and do other things and to really help elevate your life in ways so definitely uh virgo socially you know address that sore that we were talking about addressing you know y'all like how i upgraded from the little pimple to a sore now um address that pimple in y'all's life get rid of that pimple and then everything else is just going to really fall into place very beautifully for you guys so um yeah virgo thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for y'all this is admittedly probably like you know usually virgo it doesn't take much for me to connect to y'all's energy my best friends are virgo <laughs> and it's just like i can to earth signs very easily but y'all's reading this week is very very unique very weird but not in a bad way um just like the whole dynamic of like the energies of things doing so take that as you will it doesn't really have any relevance i suppose Thank you for allowing me to do this for you guys. I appreciate it so much, Virgo. If you want to book a private personal reading with me, my website's always linked down below, simplyvelka.com, Virgo. Um, next to my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, also being Simply Velka. But uh, yeah, Virgo, I love you so much, and hopefully I can connect with you all sometime in the very near future. Until then, though, bye, Virgo.